Today, I'm gonna be making a no-bake M&M pie. This is from thefirstyearblog.com. I will link below. Uh, there's a description right below this video. I'll give a link below so that you can click on it and go straight to the written instructions just like I did and print it out. Uh, but I'm going to tell you everything we're going to need. I haven't measured anything out yet. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you the ingredients. Uh, you need one package of Oreos. You need this and this recipe doesn't give you like every ingredient at once. It has it split up into the crust. The filling, the chocolate ganache. <laughs> so, for the crust, you need the one package of Oreo cookies. You need a third cup of M&M's chopped and one stick of butter. For the filling, we're going to use two packages of cream cheese, one cup of peanut butter, one container of Cool Whip, and another fourth cup of mini M&M's. For the chocolate ganache, you're going to need one and a half cups of semi-sweet chips, and half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And then for the topping, you'll need uh, whipped cream swirls, uh, heavy cream and powdered sugar, it says. So I need to get some powdered sugar out, but won't need it for a while. And additional M&Ms. So I don't know how many M&Ms I'm gonna need, so I just got two packages, and I'll, I can let you know at the end how many I used. Also, I might not even have to open these because I only need um, a cup and a half of semi sweet chips. I might have that much in here. I don't know. So we're just gonna uh, wing it and see. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to melt my butter. This is one stick. I'm gonna melt it in this bowl. I'm also going to take my Oreo cookies and I'm gonna put every single one of them in my food processor like this. And we're going to pulse them because you want to break them up into uh, pieces. You're going to make your crust. So, yes, you can buy Oreo pie crust. However, this Oreo pie crust is special because it has M&Ms in it. It has broken M&Ms. That's why we had to make our own and we couldn't just go ahead and buy it. So, so I'm um, also... In addition to melting the butter and breaking these up, I'm also going to be breaking up uh, a third cup of M&Ms. I'm going to chop these. And so I might put those in a little Ziploc baggie and bang them, bang them uh, to chop them up. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see how well these cookies break up. out a third cup of M&Ms and I put them in the Ziploc bag and I'm going to take this old hammer of Kevin's and I'm going to crush these. I think that'll be good enough. I didn't probably get every single one of them but I think that'll be a good addition to our crust. Okay so now you want to take your Oreos and you see there's, <laughs> there's some that have big unks in there, which I will take care of. Any big unks, I'll just uh, squash like this. There's There was a couple in here. It'd be like me and just eat them. Yeah, yeah, just eat the big pieces. That works too. Yeah, it, it, it'll, it'll get crushed in there. It's okay. So then we're going to take our M&Ms that we just smashed. Put those in there. And there's a lot that are still whole. It's okay. It'll work out. And then we're gonna add that stick of butter that we melted. We're gonna put that in here. And we're gonna combine all this together. I have a, um, it says a 10 inch pie pan. My pie pan is a Pyrex. It's a nine and a half inch pie pan. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go with it. I'm using the back of the spoon to kind of drag this through the butter, and I'm just trying to get all those Oreos wet.
Okay, so I'm gonna dump this whole thing into the pie pan. And I'm gonna press it into the bottom and up the sides. And the direction said that if you, um, if you use the whole package of Oreos, that it makes a really thick crust. That's good. That means we can go all the way up to the edge and we don't have to be afraid that we're gonna run out. It's very colorful. You could probably eat this just like it is over ice cream or something. I mean, it's just Oreo butter and m and Sounds good to me. Okay, now you want to put this in the refrigerator while you do the other step. So this is for the filling. You're gonna need both of your blocks of cream cheese. I put them in the mixer. You need one cup of peanut butter. We're gonna use the whole thing of, of Cool Whip, basically Cool Whip, and I'm using a fourth cup of the M&Ms. So the first thing I'm gonna do is you have both cream cheese. I'm gonna add my peanut butter to it, and then we're gonna mix it until it's creamy. Okay, so we've mixed that. Now we're going to add in our Cool Whip. And we're gonna add, you might have noticed I bought light Cool Whip. Anytime a dessert calls for Cool Whip, I buy light because you can't tell the difference. Once you mix it in with all the other stuff, it doesn't affect the texture at all and you truly can't tell. So it's like, if I'm gonna eat all the sugar, if I can save somewhere, then I'll save at, this, at the Cool Whip point because it just really does not matter. Uh, so we're gonna do our Cool Whip, and then we're also gonna use, um, we're gonna use a fourth of a cup of M&Ms. And we're gonna mix this slowly so that uh, we don't take the fluff out of our Cool Whip. Mixed in most of it using the KitchenAid, but there's just a little bit left of that whipped cream. So I'm just gonna do it by hand, the rest of it, like this. And I got my crust out of the refrigerator. So I have it right here. You're gonna pour this into your crust. Spread this out, but I don't want to drag it because I don't want um, to mess those Oreos up. I don't want to pull them off the edge. So I'm trying to push the peanut butter mixture into the Oreos. I want to put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. While our pie is in the freezer for half an hour, we need to make the ganache because the ganache needs to be completely cooled before you can put it on the pie. So what you need for the ganache is one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips and a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. So you want to uh, have your chocolate chips in a heat proof bowl. You want to pour your half a cup of heavy whipping cream in a pan and you want to heat it and take it off the heat just before it starts to boil. So we're gonna add it, we're gonna add it to our uh, chocolate just before it starts to boil. Usually so, I wait, when I start seeing bubbles, it's like it's done. <laughs> so, so we're gonna get this on the stove and we'll be back. So this was, this was almost boiling and we're gonna pour it over the top of our chocolate and we're gonna let it sit here for a few minutes until this starts getting a little melty and then we're gonna stir it together. So now I'm gonna stir this together. We're still 
are some uh, little lumpy pieces of chocolate, of uh, chocolate chips. I personally don't mind that. Um, if they end up melting, that's fine. But if they don't, I don't mind that either. Uh, but you're going to set this to the side and let it um, come to room temperature. Okay, so now we're going to make, um, I, I'm still letting, allowing my chocolate to come to room temperature, and now we're going to make the topping. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the cool, the whipped cream topping. So, you could use Cool Whip. So, if you buy a bigger container of Cool Whip, uh, you could use Cool Whip. But we are going to use uh, a fourth cup of powdered sugar, which I did not show you in the beginning of the video. Fourth cup of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and three-fourths cup of heavy cream. So we're gonna take just our heavy cream and our powdered sugar, and we're gonna whip that together first, and then we're gonna add our vanilla after. this point add in your vanilla and let it continue to whip so now I'm going to take this mixture and I'm going to uh, put it into I was going to say a piping bag <laughs> this is not a piping bag this is a ziploc bag and I'm going to put it in a ziploc bag I'm going to use a there we go I'm gonna put it right in here like this and this uh, this Ziploc bag is going to be my my piping bag I'm gonna get it all down to one end and then I'm gonna cut um, just a little bitty uh, piece off the end and that'll be my piping bag. I remove the pie from the freezer and I have my ganache here and I'm gonna put it over the top like this. And like I said, there will probably be some lumps in mine, but I personally don't mind that. Um, it's just a little bit thicker chocolate, right? <laughs> this reminds me a lot of the peanut butter pie recipe we have on the channel. Um, the pie with the uh, Oreo crust with the chocolate on top. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's similar. Just, you're adding M&M. Yeah, and my, my chocolate topping is a thinner topping than this, too. I am leaving. You'll notice that I'm leaving some of that uh, peanut butter showing around the edge because I like the look of that. Now, you don't have to do that. I just think it looks pretty. It adds... Um, it adds some uh, color to the top, and I just like it. So now, before your uh, before your ganache sets, uh, you want to add more M mini M and M's. And I want to show you, I didn't open this bag at all, and I still have tons in this bag. So um, just put it however many you want. And I want a color, very colorful. Uh, pie, so I'm gonna put a lot on mine because that's the theme, right? Is the M&M. &M. So I want to cover it, and then I'm also going to do my little dollops here. And I'm no expert at this, so mine probably will not look very pretty, but that's okay. I'm not picky. So I'm gonna put just some little dollops right here. Then I'm gonna take some extra M&Ms and I'm gonna put some in the top of each one. Now, this needs to go in the freezer. You're supposed to cover it. Um, I don't know how you're... We're going to do it with aluminum foil. And what we're going to do is we're going to make like a little tent on the top. And uh, we're going to cover it like that because you don't want to squash this. But you want to freeze it for at least four hours, if not overnight. So, we'll do ours for four hours. 
and then uh, we'll take it out. But I think that looks very pretty. So I had this covered with a piece of aluminum foil and I uncovered it. You can see the M&Ms that are on the whipped cream are discolored. Mm -hmm. I mean, they look, frost on them people, people would think those were old or something. So, but the ones on the pie itself are fine. So this is a lesson if you're gonna make this at home. Put it on in the, the ganache, but don't put it on top of that um, whipped cream. Um, I've had this out of the freezer for about 30 minutes so that it would not be completely frozen and hopefully it'll be easier to cut as a slice. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut it like this so we can get a look at it here. All right. And it's, it's so thick that, uh, it might cause me trouble, I don't know. Let's see. And the first piece is usually ugly anyway. Oh, that doesn't look bad. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. I lost some of my Oreo in the in the bottom, but that's okay. My, that just means my next slice will, will be better. It'll come out easier. That first slice is always awful, but you can see um, it looks um, looks really good on the inside, and I can smell that peanut butter. Okay, um, I found the written instructions, so like I said, those will be below this video. Um, when she's given her instructions, she does say to put the M&Ms in the chocolate ganache. She doesn't say anything about putting them on the whipped cream. However, in the picture, she has a picture of it. I saw M&Ms in the whipped cream. She doesn't specifically say in the instructions when to add them to the whipped cream. So you just need to know in your head because it is still soft enough to get yeah. an M&M in there. Do it after your, when you're ready to serve. Do it after, or people are gonna be like, those are some old M&Ms. Yeah. Do it you're... when you're ready to serve. Yeah. So here we go. Oh. And the second piece, this piece, came out perfect without any trouble at all. The crust didn't crack or anything. It's just that first piece is always uh, going to give you the most trouble. It's very cheesecakey. Like. Mm-hmm. I didn't get any Oreo in that first bite. <laughs> Almost all I got. Curious what this chocolate tastes like on the top. It's good. Um, I, I like it quite a bit. Yeah, I don't think there's any flavors there that I don't like. No. Um, it's not what you would consider. It's a very dense pie. Yes. But it's not overly sweet. No. But it's sweet enough mm -hmm. to enjoy. Mm-hmm. I like the grittiness of the Oreo mm -hmm, crust. The crust. I actually like the little chunky pieces of M&M you get every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Because you're eating you. it and you bite into these like harder pieces that are the M&Ms. I can tell you that when I made the filling, mm -hmm. I was very concerned about the sweetness level though. Because as you do, <laughs> uh, when you're going to get ready to clean the bowl, you lick some off the spoon. And that's what I did. And that filling had the two packages of cream cheese, the cup of peanut butter, the Cool Whip, and the M&Ms. Well, it's not that sweet. It's not, you know, like Kevin said, normally when, you're have, when you have cream cheese and something else, normally you would add sugar to it. This didn't have you adding mm -hmm. any sugar at all. So... And it's not a sweet filling. I'm take took a bite by itself, and, and it's, it's not, not sweet. sweet. No, it's really not. You have either. to get that top and the and the crust. Yes, that's what's adding the sweetness is the chocolate ganache and the Oreo, and then you get those M and M's here or there. But really, it's it's not an over the top sweet dessert because of that filling, because that's what you taste mm -hmm. the most, and it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. Your whipped cream, by the way, is perfect good te texture. Oh, thank you. Tastes very good. Thank you. I hadn't gotten to that yet. Mm -hmm. I do like this a lot. Oh, I just good. wouldn't want you to go into it expecting something like super, super, super sweet. No, no it's not like I. 
It's not like a big cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory or something. It's not quite that. It's sweet. not that sweet, but, but it's also not that cheesecakey. That that uh, cream cheese flavor. It doesn't have the strong cream cheese. Yes. Flavor like so either. for it to have two blocks in there, you would think yeah. that would be really, really strong, and it's not. It's no, not. I think bad cheesecakes at all. usually have three. Ah, okay. I okay. Think. Yeah. From I have memory of making them. I think they're still. Haven't made one in a while. No. So, uh, but I do enjoy making cheesecakes. Mm -hmm. We have some recipes of those on the channel, too. And Ashley, um, Ashley made the first cheesecakes, I think, on mm -hmm. the channel. So, the, the only thing I could think of, if you wanted to save yourself a little time, mm -hmm. you could just buy an Oreo crust and not yes. worry about the MMs on the bottom. Yeah. Doesn't make that big of a uh, deal because you're going to still get this, all the MMs all through there and on top, anyway. Yes. So if you want to save yourself a, a few dollars and a few, um, I think you could totally do time. that. And when Kevin makes his chocolate peanut butter pie, which the recipe for that is on the channel, yeah. um, he buys an Oreo pie crust. Mm -hmm. It it is just as good as this one, just mm -hmm. as good as homemade. And you're you know they've done it for you, and it's flat in the pan and all that. So you're, you're it's maybe not as thick, but it's still just as good. You're saving time though too because oh, yeah, time. you know you're not having to do all that stuff or fool with those ingredients and do all those dishes and everything. So for for me, if it's a dollar or two, I don't know how much they cost, but it's totally worth it to go ahead and buy the oil. Yeah, and you don't have to have a food processor. But think about the things you could switch this out with. If you didn't want to do M and M, you could do Reese's Pieces. You could you do could pecans do, if, or peanuts if you want. You could do M and M's with caramel, mm -hmm. M and M's with peanut butter. You mm -hmm. could do any kind of M and M. Yeah. So any, any kind of candy. Yes, you exactly. You could even switch it out with uh, no. Nah, Skittles, I think that no, would be too I would, chewy. I wouldn't do the Skittles. <laughs> no, well, not with chewy. the peanut butter filling. No, either. it would be very good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you're interested, I will put that link below. You can click right on it. It'll take you right there to the written instructions. And thanks for watching.